All right, hello everybody and welcome to another exciting edition of Let's Try to Beat Rise and Fall of Civilization Civ 4 with all the different dudes and whatever. Okay, um, so anyway, historical victory. So I'll be honest with you. There's no way I could beat this without juicing it a little. So what I did is I played it as the Babylonians. I'm about ready to switch over now. Which kind of stinks because the stupid Persians found their first city in Parsa instead of on Sirajis, which I would prefer, right? So I have these four wonders here, which I'm going to need them. One, to generate the great people, and also to be able to build the wonders. I probably could build those wonders, but definitely I need them for uh, generation purposes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is scooch these guys back because I don't want them to get captured because they'll get killed. I want them to get captured, but whatever, but I don't want them to get killed, which is usually what happens. The computer won't take possession of them. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the Persians. Yes. You notice I did not mine the copper. I did not... Uh, what, what happened? I didn't mine the copper. I did not develop anything better than a uh, warrior, which is great. And I've got a great profit also in the hopper. Okay, so we kind of want to split up our forces here. So obviously we want to have somebody guard the darn town, what the heck. So what's going to be really important in this is one, that we can keep our economy uh, researching. That's going to be important. And we're going to need slavery and hereditary rule. We're not going in for the long game because, oh shoot, I probably should look at the goals here. So we've got to get 8% of the world. And I found a way to do that that actually doesn't involve too much warfare. There is some warfare involved, but there's a lot of not warfare too. I've read guides of this that say, hey, take over the Indians, take over the Greeks, take over the Egyptians. Don't have the time, don't have the manpower to do it. I don't know how they did it. They're much better than I am apparently. Or maybe that was when you had uh, horsemen as immortals because they actually changed that in different versions of the game. Okay. It's seven World Wonders by 350 AD. That's doable in the Holy Shrines. The Holy Shrines is doable, but you really got to get those great profits cranked out. Now, luckily, because the wonders I have in uh, Babylon shouldn't be really a problem. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, and some of this stuff is going to be luck-based, okay? Just so you know, all right? We're not... Yep. And as you know, I understand Persian, so when these guys talk, I understand what they say, so it's kind of kind of fun. Shushan is going to flip to us, so we don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, and then we're going to send this guy up, because he's going to go bomb the city up in Artakoa. Oh, and when you switch, it stops waiting at the end of the turn, and also no longer does quick combat. So we're going to un-F that. Now we got to be very careful about barbs, because barbs will happen a lot. And we have to be careful of that. A lot of times with the real problem you run into uh, in the normal game, and we get two free workers, very nice of them, uh, one of those workers must, and I repeat, must go get that copper, because that's how we build our uh, immortals, which are a place for spearmen who have an advantage against, I'm um, gonna get rid of a couple of these guys. They have an advantage against uh, the one jerks. Archers, and that's very important. Actually, I'm going to move him over here so he can move in concert with his buddies there. And, uh, yeah. But uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take over the Indians because the Indian subcontinent has a lot of land. And we need 8%, which is, that's a lot, okay? But instead of going to fight the Greeks and going to fight the Egyptians, especially the Egyptians, kind of a pain in the butt to get down there. And it's hard to send enough forces down there. And by then our economy will just be so much in the toilet. Uh, and yes, we're going for mathematics, so we get the construction, so we get the Great Wall. We need more wonders, and that's a pretty useful one as well. All right. So what do we, we'll build a barracks here first. We already have a barracks here, which is excellent. We don't have agriculture, so we can't actually use that uh, gosh darn wheat yet. Okay. So there we go. Oh, oh, geez, look at that's that's a good situation. Thirty-four percent, eight, great. We can afford to lose a chariot because we'd probably be able to take it next turn. Yeah. Excellent. If only I could take those workers, but I probably won't get them, which is too bad because I really do need them. 
okay, so now we've got this city. Now we'll start generating great people. Most likely, we will get uh, lots and lots of great profits. Oh, no, it's not generating yet. I was going to show you that. but uh, Anyway, they should collapse fairly quickly here. As you can see, we've already got barbs just kind of skulking about. Not going to quite come out yet. But I found that Rise and Fall likes to do this where they're just kind of like warning us like, hey, we're coming. And they are. So barracks, we're, we're just going to be pumping out dude after dude. So, all right. So off to a good start here. So far, so good. Um, so we're going to want to move one of these guys down here. Like I said, they're spearmen pretty much, but they get a bonus against, uh, those gosh darn, what's his face? Uh, archers, which, uh, they hadn't developed bowmen yet, uh, because I didn't develop bowmen yet. Because like I said, I juiced up, uh, our friends there, uh, to make this possible. I don't know. Maybe it is, I mean, maybe it's not that hard and I'm just, I stink or whatever, but, uh, like, I, I, I couldn't get anywhere near it. So, part of our plan would be conquest, but we're not going to go after the Egyptians, we're not going to go after the Greeks, because it'll be a tremendous pain in the rear end. Oh, gosh darn it, and I didn't mean, mean, to bring, mean, mean to bring that archer with me either. Gosh darn it. Uh, that's all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll fix it up. Don't worry about it. I'd like to see what's in Tatuas. Of course we're going to keep that. We're going to keep almost everything. Uh, which will be super de-duper. Alright, continuing along here. You can see our economy's not tanking too badly. But that will change very quickly for us. Aha! And that's why I've got this dude here. As you can see, he gets a big advantage when he attacks those uh, stupid, uh, what's his faces? Those stupid archers, especially if they're outside the town, they stand no chance. All right, there we go. And I've got Jerusalem, and with Jerusalem, we'll just trade everything away. What? What a butthole, I thought, because usually he'll want everything for alphabet here. Who want for this? What a, what a, what a, what a greedy guy. All right, well, anyway. That's okay, now we got this town. We'll start building the Great Lighthouse here, I guess, because the Maori statues just never seems to work out. And of course, the first thing we're gonna build, we'll get our first of two shrines that we need to have. If uh, this goes, it's a dice roll, depending on you know which uh, great person you're gonna get. But chances are we'll get a great profit. And if we get another great profit, that means uh, we'll easily be able, when we conquer, uh, India will be able to build two uh, temples there, which is more more than we need. It's a little bit of economic help though, so probably for the best that we do that. All right. All right, Mr. Independence Day. Must keep going towards my town. I'm going to reinforce. Oh no, I don't have to reinforce. I can just kill. Okay, good. A little scared there that that was gonna go badly. And now we're gonna go take over Hastus. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. We're gonna go take it over though, that's for sure. And mathematics is what we want because we wanna get to construction to build the wall. Uh, obviously our large empire. Oh good, we were successful. I didn't actually mean to do that. I meant to think about it for a minute. Hey, everything's going great. So far, ah. And that will take Samarkand. Excellent, we've taken Samarkand. Samarkand is a fairly good city, although it won't really get to the glory uh, that we would expect from Samarkand. Um, I have been to Central Asia. Um, I've been to Tajikistan, Kyrgyz Republic. I've never been to uh, Samarkand in Uzbekistan. And that's like a sore point for the Tajik people uh, because they feel like it should be theirs because the people in Samarkand are mostly of Persian descent and also speak, uh, we can get those two workers. Possibly, it's possible. 
we'll do our best to get them. Because the workers will really be helpful to us. All right. But yeah, in any case... Uh, yeah, that's a that's a sore spot for them. Okay, now we finally got our ability to build uh, immortals here. It would be really really nice if you jerks would be able to uh, start pumping out the immortals for me. Unfortunately, none of these guys got barracks finished. Uh, well, I suppose it's not all that. Well, we don't have roads going there yet. That stinks. Probably should get on with that. Uh, this town, even though it looks like nothing, uh, Arthakoa, which I believe Kandahar would be there, or maybe I'd have to move it over one to get Kandahar. But uh, in any case, yeah, I wish I hadn't gone back in there, you jerk. So anyway, this town could be a little tough to take because it is, uh, what is it? It's on a hill. So it gets additional uh, defensive uh, power there. So that's no good. But now our overall strategy will be, we have to, we do have to conquer, Jeez, uh, only 67%. Get that chariot up there, get a little insurance, you know what I mean? There we go, do it next turn. Um, what was I saying there? So we do need to conquer the Indians. There's no two ways about that. That's something we must do. But, I gotta be careful here, because those guys will cause trouble for us if we allow them. So it's a real problem. Uh, we gotta take India. There's no two ways about it. But after we do take India, you have a better chance? Pretty good. Uh, after we take India, we should be able to do the rest of what we need to do by populating the Arabian Peninsula and adding a few garbage towns in the middle of the desert. That will be enough. Right, did I get workers with that? Thank God. Because sometimes you don't get the workers. So this should be actually easier than the last time I won, which was the only time I won. Knock him off. No sense letting that threatened being just hang out there. We shouldn't have too many problems as far as with the Greeks. The Greeks generally don't go at us, even though historically that's not the way it is. But then again, I mean, like, uh, you know, in this game, a lot of people declare war on you, but they won't do anything about it. And that's uh, certainly true of the Greeks, which, you know, it's great. It's exactly uh, what I like to see. So I have to see what the barbs are up to. You never know, so probably better to keep an immortal there. Immortals are a fantastic unit, just a fantastic, I can't remember what the mounted immortals did, but uh, the, uh, the spearmen immortals, top notch, top notch. Wow, look at that, oh. I think he's actually weak, which is why. But uh, I'm gonna let him attack me, which is unfortunate because I, because that's a setup victory. The first few times, of course, you get a few free wins against the barbs. Uh, now, of course, I'd like to tell you that very quickly, we'll have construction, so barbs will be a thing of the past. But that's not true. It's gonna take us forever to get construction. We'll get math pretty quick here, because we can sustain that for like seven more turns. 100% here, but our army is going to get freaking huge as we start to have a go at our neighbors. And just our economic growth is not going to keep up with that. Those cottages we're building right there around uh, Akkad, very important. I guess if I wanted to really juice myself up a lot more, uh, or to a better extent, I would have built uh, some gosh darn whatever there, right? I would have built some um, cottages before uh, the end of that, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Now this town near uh, Hattusis will be quite the town. I mean, you can see all the resources around here. And luckily, 
in case you didn't notice, I have the, um, which one is it? Yeah, I think it's the, um, the pyramids. Or no, no, I think it's, uh, it's Stonehenge. It gives you a free monument in every town. So we'll get that free fat cross, uh, you know, for free. We won't have to work for it, which is beautiful. Ah, I forgot we don't have, uh, let's see if any little tray or something. Hey, how about the alphabet, man? All right. He's greedy, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to fight him, and we're not going to be in the game that long anyway. All right, can I trade the agriculture? How about sailing? You like sailing, don't you? There we go. All right. Unfortunately, I already moved my guy to go play with the horses. So, you know, it's pretty lame. Okay. Now, we have to see how strong our uh, erstwhile friends are there. The, uh, the hateful... Indians, uh, because sometimes they tend they they won't they won't really be too strong, but they will be like annoying strong to where they have a lot more units than you want them to have. I guess you'd say uh, they usually don't get they have iron right next to them, but they usually don't have iron working very quickly, which is it's freaking nice. I'm actually, gonna send this guy to go down here and work there. For a bit, and then you can see we've got our next great uh, profit. So that's the great that's the great profit there. That will um, that's the go ahead run, or that's that's the one that'll achieve the goal, which is pretty nice. It would be nice if we had iron working. By the way, you're probably like, well, why don't you get iron working to get that square? It's just a prioritization. I need freaking mathematics, and I need construction. Um, I think it would be just swell if we could get that, but we can't right now. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn out a settler to settle. We're actually not gonna found any of those towns till about 10 years before the limit, so we can hit fat cross, fat cross time, and that'll be great. I'm not counting on the great lighthouse, but boy, it sure would be swell if we could get it, huh? Wait, do we have fishing boats? Yes, we do. That's nice. It's always helpful. I'm gonna be a little cocky by having that worker come in, you know? Or not the worker, the great prophet there. But I think he'll be fine. I don't think we'll lose him on the way. And everything is going pretty well according to plan right now. Ugh, I hate it when they withdraw. It's so annoying. Okay, and now we got math, which is fantabulous. I love it. I'm just going to try to connect our towns up here. We're going to need uh, a fair amount of settlers, even though we're doing a lot of, uh, what's the word for it? Even though we're going to do, let me wait. I'm going to wait till I get these two uh, catapults out. Or should I? I don't know. Maybe not. Will I actually need them? Yeah, let's go ahead and take him out so he can't do anything stupid. And as you can see, the barbs keep coming in. I know as the Persians, what I usually have a lot of problem with these barbs here. Now, unfortunately... All right. Unfortunately, I'm going to beat our feet on the Mississippi mud here. We'll have to declare war on the Indians. Uh, and we'll see what happens. You can see our sciences, or our economy's like tankalicious right now. So, whatever. But that's, that's the way it's gotta be, unfortunately. This, whoa, hey, whoa, where did you come from, Mr. Uh, Barbarossa? Well, anyway, doesn't matter where you came from, it matters where you went. Straight to hell. Okay. Lousy barbs, always trying to ruin everything for everybody. Uh, I really should have worked on those cottages more too, by the way. So yeah, but our, our uh, whoa, hey Archer, what are you doing up there? Anyway, Archers of course stand no chance on the open ground against our, uh, against our uh, guys, dudes, against the immortals. 
so yeah, Immortals is kind of a cool thing. I, uh, as of course a, a Persian speaker, not natively so, but uh, someone who learned Persian, and obviously if you learn Persian, you had to learn all the history. It's very interesting. Uh, just you know, they, they're very, of course very proud of it. The Persians are a very proud people as far as when it comes to their history. Like they are uh, highly nationalistic, and uh, so I remember uh, watching a video uh, where they had the. Uh, the Shah was having a military parade or whatever. I think it was where they uh, laid the wreath or whatever at the tomb of uh, Cyrus the Great. And uh, yeah, they had people dressed in the old, the old uh, outfits, you know, of the, uh, the immortal guard there, which is pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. Of course, the current government likes to downplay the pre-Islamic times, which means they downplay a lot of that history, which is, I think to their detriment and obviously does not uh, not something that the uh, a lot of the populace of uh, Iran like since they're very proud of that and don't want to downplay that all right so anyway, that's a little of a uh, little Persian knowledge for you I mean don't know if you give a crap but uh, I find it interesting all right so let's see I don't actually need those horses oh I kind of all right, wow, free experience points. Well, I'm not gonna do it. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got two of them. Wait, we got two of them? Hey, hey, whoa, let me look again. Okay, no axes, good, all right. All right, we're in business, we're in business. Because if they have axes, you know, we're in a fair amount of trouble because they get uh, obviously adva advantages against uh, melee units. All right, so we're about at 20 minutes. Let me go ahead and, oh, 22 minutes. Let me go ahead and cut it here, and I'll see you back for the next part. See you later. Bye-bye.